Also, laugh. hold on. I have a good. yep a thing I need to load. Uh, yes, audio is fine. Okay, so I, also, I need on, to I a, a capture need to this, mute this. And... Okay, so I need to capture this, mute this, and this. Okay, looks like we're good to go. All right. Um, let me reset the timer. So before yep. we start, this is very important. Ah. Oh baby. All right, and you've resized the window <sighs> to fit the little border, and you've cat bagged the anime and applied whatever oh, other man. names you would like. We have a, a that a, is a sweet refreshing. Donation. Wow. Hey, can I read a sweet donation for you, Boix? Yeah, go for it. Well, we have a hundred dollars from Valen. What? Pepsi man. <laughs> This towards whatever is unmet. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome, Valen. Thank you. Wow. That's a that's a sweet donation for the cause. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much. He really supports Pepsi for TV game. Yeah, I want to make sure the audio is good before we start. Um, yeah, is this is this good? Okay. Otherwise, all right. They probably can't hear me, but okay. we'll we'll deal with that. You guys can talk anyways. All right, so give me a countdown. And then you really we'll should uh, resize the window, though. It's like stream thing, fill the border. Yeah, there, there's uh, black on the sides too, but uh, that's just because I centered it. Is this a four by three game? Because it have... is oh, a wait, four yeah, by three. Layout. Yes. Hold, yeah, so we have okay, a four by three on. layout. Hold on. Let me change that. Cool, cool. Real quick here. Uh, maybe I can get the opening cutscene to play while we're waiting. Because. Uh, Actually, I could restart the console if we want to watch the opening cutscene. But eh. and then I got two. I think all cutscenes should be played. Yeah, that so would, that would just be my. We're, we're doing all cutscene percent. It's exactly the same as a normal speedrun in this game. You just subtract five minutes from your time. So we're just gonna watch all the cutscenes because why not? And it's most, completely worth it. Mostly because they're glorious. <laughs> You want to give a little background on this game, boy? Because I'm sure that there's some people that have never seen this or heard of it. So I think some information would be kind of cool. Um, I was gonna wait till we started, but yeah. Uh, so this this game is called Pepsi Man. It is. All right, we're the way. Okay, here I'll just go when we start. Um, so once I hit game start, timer starts. So if you want to give me a countdown or something. Okay, on zero five four three two one zero. All right, go. So, this game is called Pepsi Man. It was released only in Japan, but it has all English voice acting with the best actor in the world, Typical hey, American. The game. This is Typical American. So, uh, this game was released as an advertising game, but it's actually sort of somewhat of a rarity in the PlayStation world, for some reason or another. I'll just Are we doing game audio? Cutscene play. There should be game audio. I can turn it up, though. And I was just on my there we go. Air. Hold on. When I got a flat tire, there are a bunch of people gathered in front of the big. Okay, I just wasn't hearing it on my end. You're good. Right, I turned it up a little bit just in case. Excellent. So basically, the story right now is that a a soda machine in the city is empty, and people are thirsty, and they're going to riot if they don't get their soda. So it's so up to Pepsi rated. Man to go give them soda. And murder a couple people along the way, you know, whatever. So, this game is sort of an auto-scroller, except you can run and dodge, and there's a bunch of other cool stuff. So, we're gonna try and beat the game as fast as possible. By utilizing the run button, as well as... Uh, a couple other neat... Things. So, for right now, we're just sort of running through the streets sliding under things and such. Um, we're gonna go through this guy's house because he left the door open. And Wait, is this Halo? This is Halo, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Did Halo have soda? It, it definitely had Mountain Dew tie-ins. It's probably Halo. Close enough, isn't it? So as you're running along, there's all these soda cans. The soda cans uh, will refill your health if you're low on health. Oh yeah, fuck this guy's table. And fuck this guy's wall. Um, so basically the story of this game is that we're breaking and entering into people's homes and then destroying all of their worldly belongings, and murdering a couple people along the way in order to give people delicious soda. And there 
go. That's the first level. Pretty easy. Oh, I remember now. Man, that is refreshing. A Coke you're drinking? Yeah, you know that, that Pepsi. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more, say no more. <laughs> I actually, like, unironically like this game, which is kind of weird. Um, but there is a lot of, like, complete bullshit that this game will throw at you. The you can run by that really... truck if you go fast enough. Um, there's also some... Whoa, hey! So, a weird thing about this game is that it eats input sometimes. That's what happened right there. It, uh, did not take my input. That doesn't come up that often. But it did it twice, and we compensated. Okay. Alright, so again, screw this person's house. And... Somebody get the gold finger ready. Because we're Tony Hawk. This game has the best of all worlds. It has the best soundtrack in, in any <laughs> game ever. It has one song that's technically a soundtrack. Uh, there's this guy on the left who will walk out in the street. If you run into him with your skateboard, he instantly kills you. I don't know why. Fuck that couch. Fuck that chair. Is it you can also unlock costumes go. in this game? Yeah, there are four costumes you can unlock. Um, one you unlock just by beating the game. That's the old Pepsi costume, so it's like the 90s can. Uh, you can also unlock Wireframe, like in uh, Punch-Out, and you can also unlock Stealth Suit. In order to get that, you have to get 100% collection of every can, though, and also a record time in every level, which is kind of bullshit. So, um, we just do, when we do the speedrun, we just do it from a new save file, so you don't get any of the uh, um, costumes. So I need actually serious time right now, because these levels are kind of annoying. So sorry if I'm quiet here, but yeah. It's like deceptively hard to dodge these things sometimes because the input needs to be very quick. But we got there. So we have another donation, if it's okay to read one. Yeah, go for it. Uh, we have $5 from Lee Benningfield. Just take a chill crack of Pepsi and refresh everything. Oh man, thanks, Lee. So, here's one of the glorious, glorious cutscenes. All shut up. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Man, thanks, typical American. He has such good advice for us. Yeah. Next stage. It's almost like another day in... Paradise. So, we have solved the riot issue by giving them Pepsi. So what more... Oh man, there's a fireman. Pepsi man! There's a building on fire just ahead. We oh god, a fire. But look what's happened! According to reports, I have heard... They got the fire into control, but there are some people that couldn't escape fast enough and are trapped on the roof. They are extremely exhausted, and it doesn't seem likely that we can get first aid to them in time. Can't you give them something to help revive them, Pepsi Man? Yes! Alright, so we need to go on top of a burning building to the roof where all these thirsty people are who are dying, and we can't give them medical attention because we have too much soda. That is, I believe, the story right now, if I'm not mistaken. So, with this little part, it's gonna throw out these barrels. All you need to do is stay to the right side of the map, and it won't ever hit you. If you move to the side, it changes the, the spawn there on those. So, now we're rolling on a barrel, because why not? 
Um, the controls on this barrel are also surprisingly precise at times. You have to just barely, barely edge to the left or right. Um, that'll come up later in another level where they bring that back. There's only four worlds in this game. Right now we're on world two. So it's a pretty short game. But it's pretty hype. Oh, we have another five dollars from Archie AC Owen. Hey, what's Pepsi up, for TV game. <laughs> Watch out for them bikes. All right, so the um, there are spots on this bridge you can run, but it's pretty dangerous because of the um, end of the run. Sometimes it'll just run you off the edge. Uh, again, eating inputs. So I'm just gonna take it safe for the marathon here and not try to do this quicker, but there is definitely a route where you can go a little quicker past this area. But just for the sake of not having to redo that, because it's embarrassing. Yeah, real talk, this game is actually very hard. Like, uh... Yeah. yeah. And it's also legit because you can actually run, so it's not just an auto-scroller, you can affect, affect like how fast you can beat the level. Yeah, if you want to see an auto-scroller, I'm playing Pokemon Snap tomorrow. But that actually does have speed strats as well, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, th this game is very, very difficult. It's very punishing, and there's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> but it's also really fun, and I don't know why, but I, I just really enjoy it. I've probably beaten this game only like 200 times now or something, it's not actually that much. Considering like some speed games. But yeah, most of the speedrun is just knowing where you can run and how to dodge all the obstacles. Um, you need to know exactly, like, when you need to input your running, because otherwise it will screw you with the timing of uh, certain spawns. The way the game spawns enemies is it spawns them um, as they appear on screen. So if you're running, you can actually fuck up the spawn pattern sometimes. There's a shovel there, by the way. Fuck that shovel. It's invisible almost. Uh, it's the only shovel in the game, by the way. <laughs> but uh, if you're running, it will speed up the spawn time to the point where, like, objects will be in different spots on the map than if you were going slow. So you'll have a lot less reaction time, and sometimes it's not even possible to finish certain levels by running. So you have to really sort of manage your running. Um, right here, I could technically run over these pits as well using the, the run option because of the way it uh, clips the ground. But one out of, like, five times, it just instantly kills me when I do it, so... We'll just jump over them since it only saves a couple frames, even though it looks pretty cool. We have a ten dollars from Monopoly. Pepsi Man. Oh man, Monopoly, sick. So uh, this is real talk again. Um, well, unless you're playing Sonic Adventure. But now we need to run away from this quote-unquote pizza truck. I'm doing it. It's red. Yeah, it, it's a pizza truck. But I need to shut up and concentrate again. Running around at the speed of <laughs> Okay. Anyway. Was uh, there an echo? Five dollars. No, a little, a little bit, but it wasn't bad. Okay. It was probably me. I was AFK for a minute. Okay. I apologize. Uh, Sorry, guys. Uh, five dollars from Death Before Life. Seems like Pepsi Man went to the Prometheus school of running away from things. Ding. Props to whoever understands the reference. Also, <laughs> nuke the whales. Sorry. Sorry, cutscene. <laughs> These are too good to skip. Pepsi for TV game. I agree, typical American. Pepsi for TV game. 
Pepsi for TV game is my favorite line from this game. <laughs> also, Sir Rage. That was what was cut off. Oh, okay. Thank you, thank you for the donation. Pepsi Man. A plane full of passengers had to make an emergency landing in the desert. We were on our way there when the helicopter broke down. Fortunately, no one was hurt or killed. But in the middle of nowhere, right in the middle of the desert. And they are all exhausted. Another helicopter is on the way, but it looks like it's so, going to take some time. Isn't there anything... The gist of what's happening right now is that an airplane has crashed in the desert in Texas. And people were thirsty. So it's up to Pepsi Man to put his hand out and go... That, that's the story. This is very deep also, lore. The, the learn, learn the lore. Um, so right now I'm gonna run three times, but I'm not gonna run anymore. Uh, the reason being that, uh, what I was talking about earlier with the spawns, if I run, that truck that just spawned on the screen will spawn faster, um, than it's supposed to, and these trucks that are going between the left and right side of the level, uh, will spawn in a way that I can't actually avoid them. If I was doing task strats, which means, like, I was subhuman and could get one pixel in between them, I could just technically run in between the trucks and save a bunch of time, but um, I can't do it. I've also tried that too. It's it's not doable like, no. in real time. It looks goddamn nice. Oh fuck! All right, that's random actually. Never seen it do two of those. Huh. Um, so what happens here is it'll drop these logs semi-random. There is a pattern to them, but. Um, it seems different this time than what I'm used to, that's weird. Uh, basically the bouncing ones you go under, the ones on the ground you obviously jump over. Yeah, it actually just gave me a different pattern. I don't think I've ever had that happen, that's weird. Huh. Well anyway, this is actually tough, so we might die here. Um, this takes very precise inputs and timing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to dodge these bikes that are coming up behind me. If they hit me from behind, I instantly die. So it requires perfect timing and running. Otherwise, you just always die. This is actually very hard. There's a car there too, just to fuck with you. Alright, now we go through the car wash. Don't hit the car wash. And we're done. Yeah, that was a very good level, actually. Yeah, this game is really, really hard casually. Um, I died a lot when I played this casually. Yeah, we got their first try. Those bikes are sketchy sometimes, because if you're off by like half a second, it will instantly kill you. There's not much you can do about it. So it takes some very precise timing. Uh, those tumbleweeds that we're seeing on the ground, by the way, um, Pepsi Man can trip on them, because reasons. Oh, hey, that was weird. Alright, so, not a good start to this level. I'm gonna try and collect some cans to, uh, not die. Alright, we're good. Kind of a rough start, but, um, my pattern got messed up because I got hit early. I, I need to shut up again because this is actually very precise and it doesn't look like it, but it's very easy to fall off these fucking logs. Um, so the general layout of this game is the Pepsi cans will point you in the right direction of where to go. That's basically all you need to know. Oh no! Ah, that's what I was talking about. Alright, we'll just try again. If you're off by, like, an inch or so, it'll kill you. Yeah, those bridges are surprisingly... Uh, Alright, now I'm just choking. Yeah, I need to shut up and then I talk. Yeah. I'm gonna concentrate. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, I'm choking really bad. One second. This is usually easy. Okay. What 
the fuck? Ah. That time I didn't think I was going to go at all. So this is one of those things I usually get first try or I just keep fucking it up. There we go, right between the balls. Perfect. Alright, first try. Everybody saw that, that was first try. First try every time. Okay, this part's also kind of hard. Um, because the patterns will get messed up if you hit anything. So we're gonna try to go fast. And if we fuck it up, we'll fuck it up, I guess. These little rocks will kill you instantly if you run into them. That actually was pretty bad, but I want to point out that is actually pretty... Whoa, there's a button input that I was talking about. It ain't my jump. Whoa, hey, okay. This is probably my worst level, too. Next to um, the factory level, which is just kind of bullshit. So, if I'm fucking up a lot here, I kind of expect that, to be honest. There we go, at least we beat it. Oh well. It's not a speedrun without a little spaghetti. So, quiet time again. Um, this isn't actually very hard, though. This one I have much more memorized than uh, some of the other runs, or some of the other levels. There we go, perfect. Alright, so we only have one more world to go, but it's the hardest world in the game. It's, co it's totally unfair. <laughs> yeah, the mines and the bikes were really good, but I fucked up like the easy rolling section just because of how precise that last run is, or that last log. Anyway, cutscene. Oh yeah, I should probably be drinking more Pepsi. Man. Pepsi for pizza. <laughs> I love this game. If only I could see you drinking Pepsi. It's like the hardest the, world the in the world, yeah. Definitely. Alright, so last level is Pepsi City. Looks like the main computer of Pepsi City went out of control a little while ago from being overloaded. All the roads are affected by the computer and we can't move ahead. There isn't enough Pepsi for everyone and violence has flared up amongst those wanting Pepsi. Exhausted people are collapsing because they can't refresh themselves with Also, Pepsi. I want to point out that the policeman's back has a mouth that keeps opening and closing and I find that incredibly disturbing. But basically, the the Pepsi plant computer has gone rogue, and the machines in the Pepsi plant have gone insane. So we need to get in there and pour soda all over it to fix it. You know, like you solve most computer problems. I punch my computer to solve it. I just pour soda all over it. That fixes all my problems. That car will instantly kill you. Like most cars in this game. Okay. Alright, so this part's a little awkward. I might get hit. These things will sort of like spawn where you're at, kind of. And it's kind of annoying to dodge from. Oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. That could have been worse. What the 
hell was that? <laughs> I think someone sneezed. Anyway, we just dodged that car, or that truck, because we ran. Um, I want to point out, when you're in the garbage can, I don't think I mentioned this, but your controls are reversed. Which is mildly annoying. But you can get used to it. So I want to stay to the left of the road, and then immediately when I see this car go by, move to the right, otherwise that car will instantly kill you. Pretty good level so far, except for the one time I ran into something. Alright. Whoa, that ain't my input. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna finish this level pretty quickly actually. Nice. Not bad, not bad. What is your record for the game? Uh, my personal record right now is twenty-four uh, 36, I think, without cutscenes. A world record's 22-something. Um, I could easily save three minutes if I just didn't die, basically. <laughs> um, I don't know what this run's gonna be. Uh, I guess we'll find out with the timer, but, uh, dying, like, three or four times on the, the barrel probably didn't help. So this is actually the hardest level in the game. There's a bunch of bullshit that just pops out at you from every side. Even if you know what you're doing, you can just die randomly. So we're gonna try not to die. Pits. Yeah, you get dropped into pits a lot because the conveyor bolts will like move you into the pit after you've fallen, which is also bullshit. So we're gonna try not to die, but uh, no guarantees. Like I said, this game's actively like hard. So I practice this quite a bit, but. Sometimes just shit happens, so. There we go. Nice. Uh. Uh. Okay, nice! That is hype as shit, that is hard. Look! And then I fuck up something easy. Because <laughs> I'm trying to go too fast. Oh well. That is actually, like, very, very difficult. That first section can take a long time, casually. I can speak to that. Alright, this section is sort of just run a lot, and then slide. There is sort of, like, a direction of where to be on the screen, generally in the middle. But not always true. Um... You kind of just brute force your way through it, to be honest. Alright, so this is actually difficult to, um, more serious time. Um, these last three are really difficult, because it's incredibly precise. Ah, fuck! Alright. We're gonna keep trying. There, we got there that time. That is very, very difficult. You can nice. only inch the controller for something like 0.5 of a second, both left and right, in order to bypass those. It's, like, very stupid accurate. Ugh. Alright, so that's the last hard level in the game. Now we just have a final boss, quote-unquote, and then uh, another really, really good cutscene, and then we're done. So, time should be up in probably two minutes, a minute, somewhere around there. Um, right when I lose control over my character and it goes to the black cutscene again. I'll try and count it out, or call it out. But this last area is pretty easy, so hopefully I don't die. Try 
tries to trick you there, actually, by having slower moving cans in the show up on screen first, which is kind of cute. This game pulls out all the stops to just fuck you over as a player. It's pretty sweet. The game just hates the player. Yeah, the, the game definitely hates the player. Well, it's like old school um, thought process, right? Like, make the game hard. That's how you increase gameplay. Time. We perfect that 20, level, by the way. 28-20. Um, so that's a 2320 without cutscenes, which is a PB actually. Nice. Sweet. Oh, GG. Well fun. Even though I died like three times, I'll take it. Oh no, I died so five times because I died twice at the end there too. Okay. Thanks, Boyks, for your Pepsi Man run. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna let this cutscene play. Yeah, we got time. We can let these play out. And finish my can of soda. Everybody, Pepsi. Drink Pepsi. Ah. Uh... Refreshing. Pepsi, only my choice. <laughs> Thank you, typical American. You were the most typical of Americans. Um, so the credits will play. I'm gonna let them play though because there's an awesome cutscene afterwards and they're very short. So if we have time. Yeah. yeah, we have time. Can I read a donation during the the credits? Yeah, you can read now. Something? That's fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, five dollars from Stoic Squirrel. Oak, please, Bible Thump. I think it's already almost over. The There we go. Here's the cutscene. It's... Uh... Pepsi is... The look of horror. Excuse me. A fitting end to our hero, typical American. <laughs> and on that day, typical American died. Alright, that's Pepsi Man. That's the whole game. That's all we got. Well, thanks again for the enjoyable experience. Yeah. That, that did not go too badly. Uh, that could have been a lot worse, so... Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I'm going to kill my stream, and we'll be back with Curry and Ed for some Shenmue 3. Uh, the, so the Grand Stream right? saga... Yep. Yeah, Shenmue 3. Yep, that's right. Shenmue that 3. Is, that is the game.